Moving on to the town manager's report. Mr. Chairman, before you do that, uh, there's some folks here from the Conservation Commission who also have our warrant articles tonight that are going to be reviewed. Oh, good. And I would suggest in order to keep okay. them waiting, we, we go to the Conservation Warrant Articles for review. Okay. Good. Okay. Do you want to join us at the table, please? You want to do them in order, Mr. Chairman, the ice pond? I don't know what order you guys have them in, so. Yeah, just give us your presentation. Sure. Good evening, everybody. Um, the first one we're going to discuss is the conservation fund. Oh, okay. okay. Um, and this is a warrant article. Well, we're looking to rebuild the conservation land fund. Um, First, let me tell you who we are. Uh, just for those who don't know, this is Ray Ann Dion, the town's conservation coordinator, and I'm Jay Diener, the current chair of the Conservation Commission. Um, we've had the conservation fund in place for quite a few years. Um, it's used primarily for purchase of conservation land, conservation easements, and maintain maintenance of the properties that we own or manage on behalf of the town. Um, <coughs> There is currently about $108,000 in that fund. About $46,000 of that fund has been allocated for um, part of the cost of the replacement of the ice pond dam and um, part of the engineering for that. So that leaves us roughly $60,000 in that fund that's available. Um, the fund has been used in recent years to uh, help offset the purchase of the ice pond itself, as well as the Batchelder Farm Conservation Easement. Um, at one point in time, uh, just to give you a frame of reference, that fund totaled over $450,000. This is the fourth year the warrant article has been presented to the voters um, to increase funding for this fund. And in previous years, it has been supported by the voters overwhelmingly, most often by about a four to one margin. So it's clear that the voters in Hampton are in favor of conserving land, um, conserving open spaces for the town's benefits. Um, last year, this was a $10,000 warrant article. Um, this year, we're looking to increase it to a $20,000 warrant article because we have a long way to go to get it up to a fund that we can use to make some meaningful purchases. The impact to the voters last year was four-tenths of one cent per $1,000 valuation. So given the new tax rate is, is increased, we don't know exactly where that is, but we know we're going to be at least double that. So we're talking about eight-tenths of one percent um, uh, per thousand dollars valuation. Still not a, a substantial um, tax on the, the town's property owners. Mr. Chairman, are we going to be We're going to listen to their presentation. Are we going to be voting on this tonight? No. Or? No, just no. listening. Okay. We're taking everything under consideration. Okay, good. We're looking at a number of different properties in town um, for conservation purposes. Uh, we've been having some discussions with two property owners um, who are considering either an outright purchase or conservation easements on their properties. We've been looking at significant parcels in town that we would like to target for conservation purposes to protect open spaces as well as to protect our town's water resources. But we're not at a place where we have enough funds to be able to support those, those kinds of transactions. As you know, we've been approaching this process on an annual basis because we're looking to gradually build up our funds so that when we do get to the point where we have a purchase that we think is to the benefit of the town, we can make a substantial portion of that, we can supply a substantial portion of that funding from our own funds rather than having to go to the voters. So, so in effect, this is our, the Conservation Commission's Capital Improvement Fund. Um, so um, we're once again looking for the town's support to help to continue to build up that fund for the town's benefit. And I'd be happy to answer any questions you have. Mr. Bridal. No, I think uh, the Conservation Commission has been good stewards of our conservation land. Um, uh, we have a lot of great places. I know my Mr. Bean talks about my grandchildren. We, we, uh, we enjoy a number of those conservation pieces of property in this town, and I know a lot of citizens do. do. And, in fact, 
they, the, the citizens of this town usually overwhelmingly support this, so I got no problem with this. Mrs. Wolseley. No problem. Mr. Bean. No problem at all. Yeah. Mr. I, I have no problem. It, okay. We always got to just keep in, in, in our thoughts that an eighth of a tenth percent is an eighth of tenth percent, an eighth of tenth percent, an eighth of tenth percent, and it, it, all of a sudden it's. I, I understand yeah. that completely. Um, yeah. we're, we're trying to strike a balance between protecting our property owners' financial interests and at the same time working for the town's benefit as a whole. I myself, I think, you know, it's great. I think that you want to um, do this, but sometimes I think you would be better off if you picked something, a, uh, a piece that um, would, the peep, that you could talk people into maybe going out a little further on. Something, for instance, like the Shell station that's right here on the corner. I do know that there is private money that is willing to work with you and they are willing to put up money. So I would rather see uh, a, a Warren article coming forward with a specific place that possibly people would go to where they could see that there is some private money going into it and something that would benefit the whole town. So even though it appears, you know, I'll have to take it all into consideration, but I would personally rather see a, how much money is in your fund right now? Uh, available funds is about $60,000. So there really isn't very much, but I do know that there are several people that might be willing to help if that would just be a perfect little place. It's never going to make a perfect little uh, coffee shop or anything, but it would be a perfect little place to have a little po pocket park. So I would rather see you working in that direction myself. Would you like to go on to the next one? Yeah. We'd be happy to. So the next one um, that we want to talk about kind of go well together, but um, the other one is the um, land use change tax fee. So um, just to kind of give a little bit of background, the land use um, change uh, land use change tax fee is applied to parcels that are taken out of, um, out of current use. And current use itself is a discounted tax rate for parcels that are greater than um, 10 acres and are maintained in kind of an undeveloped natural state. And when someone decides to develop that parcel, they're changing the use, and there is a, um, a fee that's based on 10% of the market, the fair market value that is applied when that parcel is developed. So. Um, Back in 1995, there was an approved warrant article that allocated 100% of the land use change tax fee up to a maximum of $10,000 per year to the Conservation Land Fund. Um, we believe that the, the $10,000 maximum was put in place because at that time there was a substantial number of parcels that were in current use. However, today there's only about 18 parcels in Hampton that are greater than 10 acres in current use without any conservation protection. So <clears throat> we believe that um, it would be a good idea to kind of adjust this warrant article for two reasons. One, it's another opportunity to um, help fund our land conservation fund. And two, it seems fitting that the parcels are receiving a discounted um, tax rate because they're keeping it in a kind of open space undeveloped. Um, and then when they're changing that, it would seem appropriate that the fee that they're charged be put towards conserving open space somewhere else in Hampton. Um, so we're looking to change it to be 100% um, of the land use tax with no, with no maximum um, on it. Um. Mr. Wardell. So right now it's up to $10,000? A year. Yeah. So um, in the last, so we did look at like what we've um, gotten in the last 10 years. So um, there was, for six out of the 10 years, we didn't get any money. Uh, there weren't any uh, parcels that were being taken out of current use. Um, but over the last 10 years, we've had 21,000 uh, contributed uh, to our fund. Um, 
There was one year in 2014 um, where two parcels, uh, Smutty Nose, and then a development on Drake side that were taken out of current use, and there was a total of $187,000 that was um, paid in that fee, of which we only got $10,000. And where'd the rest go? Uh, my understanding is it goes into the general fund. Reduces taxes, yeah. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> Mr. Bridal. Like you said, there's probably what, about 18 or 20 that are left. Mm -hmm. um, it's pretty hard to take that 100%. Um, it, it, it's, I could see, I could be fully supportive at 50% of that. 50% uh, of whatever is collected, but mm -hmm. but taking 100% of that, that's an that's an awful lot, because it does again it goes back put into the general fund to reduce taxes. So the the, the, the towns folks are doing that, but I, I would like to see more of it go towards mm -hmm. conservation because absolutely we gotta yeah. we gotta start. And I mean, there's no guarantee that those remaining 18 are going to get developed anytime soon. It could right. be 10, 15, 20 years down the road. Absolutely. So. We could have so, many more years where there's zero. But I want to take a little bit more look at it. We're not going to vote on this tonight. Mm -hmm. no, I'd like to at least look at it. Sure. So, sure. Thank you for bringing so, it up. I myself won't be in favor of this foreign article. Mrs. Wolseley. I support the whole article as is. Mr. Bean. Uh, I do not support the article. Thank you, sir. Would you like to go on with the next one? Sure. So the last one um, has to do with tax lien parcels. Um, so right now, well actually back in 1972 there was a warrant article passed that said that parcels, um, marsh, salt marsh parcels that are under tax lien, that they be ex um, taken by the town and put under the jurisdiction of the Conservation Commission. Um, so what we're looking to do is kind of expand that warrant article to include parcels that are adjacent to the salt marsh but that are vacant with no structures. Um, these parcels are equally as important as our salt marsh for one, providing um, a greater buffer to our salt marsh from human activity and as a, um, an opportunity for salt marsh migration or expansion. Um, so we're looking to revise, simply revise that Warren article to include um, some additional, additional land. Mm -hmm. Mr. Waddell? Uh, yeah, I'm just uncertain right now. Okay. At face value, I, I think it's a good idea. I think it would be would work okay. Mm -hmm. I want to look at it a little more, but sure. I think good. I myself am not clear on this one yet either, but we, I'll be taking a further look at it. Mrs. Wills. I support it. Mr. Bean. I will not be supporting it, sir. Mm -hmm. Thank you. If I may, for those of you who are unclear, are there any questions that we can answer for you before we go? Are we going to do the amend ice pond warrant article? No. Well, I don't have the question formulated yet, but I yes. will ask questions. Okay. Yeah. We'll be happy to answer them if we yeah. can. Yeah. I think for you. me it's going to be on um, what the total, uh, you know, I'd like to, I want to look at everything from a total point of view and, you know, when I see exactly what we're going to be presting. Sure. Um, While they're here, are we doing Yes, the we are, point? Mrs. Wellesley. Yeah. Can you give me time to say it, please? All righty. Would you like to continue? Sure. Um, last year, um, we had a warrant article to fund the replacement or rebuilding of the Ice Pond Dam. Um, it was not a non-lapsing article. Um, and we felt pretty confident that we were going to at least get the work initiated during <coughs> this calendar year. <coughs> However, some an unanticipated stumbling blocks have come our way, and we have been working our way through them as quickly as we possibly can, but we're still not sure that we're going to be able to initiate the process before the end of the calendar year. So this new warrant article is just reallocating the same $90,000 towards the rebuilding of the Ice Pond Dam. We're not asking for any additional funds. We're simply asking the town to reallocate the same amount of money. Mm -hmm. They've already voted for it. Correct. Yeah. Mr. Fine. Waddell? Fine. Fine. Mr. I'm always for what the people vote for. Mrs. Wolseley? Yes, with one question to Fred. And should that say, shall the town of Hampton vote to raise and reappropriate the sum? No, be because if it doesn't, if the, if the contract is not issued by December 31st, the money will escheat to the fund balance. Okay. So what will happen is you'll have to appropriate it out 
again. Okay. Again. But I certainly am in favor of it. Yeah. Mr. Bean. And do we have? That was all. That was it. That's okay. what I thought. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming in. And if I have any questions, I'll be calling you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Right, thank You're you. always downstairs anyway. I don't even have to call. Just <laughs> <come in. laughs> um,